We're in uh, County Cavan and we've called down to Agrigear and we've met up with uh, Fred Clark, the boss, the owner, the main man. And we just wanted to catch up with him and find out a little bit about what you do here and also thank you for some of the work that we have done together uh, with Agrigear and Grassmen over the last few years. Tell us a little bit about how you got this business to where it is today because from the outset it's a very impressive business when you take a look at the scale of what goes on here. Well Garrett you're very welcome, you're not a stranger, you've been here no. before, <laughs> <laughs> yep. you've been down with your tractors and mm -hmm. we've done our best to get the machines up and going. Can you tell us, just give us the, the guts of what it is Agrigear does? We're the main importers for BKT tyres, that's our main bread and butter today. We import a lot of rims then as well for OE equipment, implement wheels and implement rims. And the tractor rims, uh, they're all manufactured on site. We, we import the raw materials, the outer rim and the centre dishes. And we shape them and weld them and machine them. But the rims, I did not realise this, like Agrigear is without a shadow of a doubt, the main player at this job in Ireland, if not the only player at this job in Ireland, I can't answer that. Go to any of the main manufacturers in Ireland and we've had them throughout the years, trailers and that, and it's it's your rims and tyres and the most of them, Fred. Is that, I'm, 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 I hope I'm not speaking out of turn, but that's what it seems like. Well, we do. Uh, our share, I suppose, if we could get a good share of the market in which we hold, yeah. And uh, But those trailers, they'd be all complete wheels that we actually import because it doesn't, uh, when we do specially built tailor-made wheels, it's when you have special offsets and more design for tractors, sprayers, spreaders. And once the volume builds up on any size of a wheel, we get it produced in the factory. And you run a refurbishment part of your business here as well, because when we were out through the factory there, we could see that very clearly. There was a lot of there's new rims and there was just, what's that all about? Yeah, well, that's the, the similar equipment. Will, will, uh, when we build a new wheel, you have to shot blast them, spray them, clean them, and prepare them for our spraying. So it's the same thing there when we take in uh, track the wheels and refurbish them because the life on any wheel is limited because of the fertilizer and the salts and the acids that comes out of manure and tractors lying up and not being used, uh, they will rust. And But there again, like uh, there's a limited amount of rust you can have on wheels because they, they get all pitted and it's like a cancer in a rim, you know. Yeah. The, the rust can be inside in that rim and can come out. But there's a level where it can be re-blasted, repainted, and, and back on again with a new tyre. Yeah. And it's, it seems to me, I mean, and maybe in some way, some small way, we're nearly part of, you know, part of the drive for this. There's a lot of restoration happening now. A lot of people are restoring older tractors and they're wanting their rims tidied up and blasted. And I think when you look at your blaster out there and, and the way in which you do it, I mean, it's, it's a very slick operation. Well, that's the way it started off, really, with the, the older tractors rebuilding them and getting them done. So even with today now, everybody seems to be coming with wheels. Tractors, three-year-old, four-year-old, <laughs> yeah. they can need a, a brightening up. We've seen it there in many cases where they fade and I like to just get them done again. And then you're into situations where the likes of us were trying to put bigger tyres and bigger tyres onto older tractors and the rim technology, the rims aren't suited for the bigger tyres. So we need someone to help us in that situation and that's where you come into the league of your own. I mean, both R3650, um, you widened uh, the rims there to allow it to take the 600 tyre and then the biggest project for us was the, the, the 4755. Tell me a little bit about the actual set of tyres that you, you put on because it was your choice. We came to you with a, open arms and says, look, what tyres would you put in this uh, tractor? Yeah, well, number one, we had to take all the wheels off it and get the right width of the rim. So uh, because of the centrepiece in the rim, we, we actually made a new outer part that was wide enough for the V Flecto tyre. So like that uh, particular tyre, uh, you actually get, uh, say, with 30% less air pressure, it can still carry the same load. Or you could look at another way that it will carry 40% higher load at the same air pressure. And it I has, so 
Yeah, so you're basically, you're able to, what the, the bottom line of what you're doing with that tire is um, you can drop the air pressure, increase the footprint. Correct. Ultimately get more ground contact. Yeah. And technically more grip. Mm, down and to 8 PSI, <laughs> from 8 PSI yeah. to 14, it can work within that range depending on the actual load of what you're pulling. If you're rolling corn or something like that, you've run down to 8 PSI. Yeah. If you're actually putting out slurry with a slurry tanker or heavy loading, you'd run at 14 very, PSI. And, and, yeah, and very fast. Well, that, and, you know, I must say just on the back of that, I was personally delighted with how it performed. But those tyres too, they're coming along with that, that very flexible technology. So like the ground pressure, we're getting it like right down. I think when we were in England and we had Roman spoke uh, in here, we had the fronts maybe down as low as 12 PSI and there maybe 10 or 12 PSI in the backs down and they were carrying the roof at the hand. You know, you could really see the tractor when it was lugging down, it wasn't catching or holding on to the sod at all. It really was working. Yeah, it's a big advantage too because it will stay much cleaner uh, with the lower air pressure. But around 12 PSI, uh, 14 PSI, you can do most jobs, slurry spreading and all of that. But again, it all depends on the weight and you start off with that pressure and you can stay with it up to 65 we're, kilometre an hour. We're all right in that old tractor, she can only do 30. <laughs> 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 and then when we were working with you, and this is the one bit where we want to really uh, thank you very much for your, your, your kindness and the charity side to uh, both you and the business here. When we raffled off our TW35, um, you basically you, you stood up and you supplied a brand new set of uh, BKT tyres onto that tractor. They were off the top of my head, six, five, maybe you remember 650, 65, 38? Yes, correct, 650, 65, 38s, and you had 540, 65, 28s on the front. That's a memory. <laughs> <laughs> and you, 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 we put those on, and uh, as I say, that, that tried to run off, and you know, ultimately led to, I think it was like was £120,000 sterling for make a wish or something that tried to race, which all like, thank you very much for that. But those very tires, welcome. they were one of your, is that would it be right and say is that a bread and butter tire that would well, have it been would in be that that's tractor? the middle of the range now when you put the vf and if and then of course you go back to the 85 series the 70 series but the 65 series now have been very good tire and performed very well probably the highest hours of all the tires is the 65 range and then i have a, a my my son's pride and joy the little uh, the little doots and we have a wee set of uh, BKTs in it as well. And uh, well, it's a smaller set, so it, it, it makes the tractor look very beefy, but it's a, small, <laughs> it's a smaller set compared to what we've all been talking about. But I just feel that whenever we've you know, restored some of our older tractors and that, I think that the, the BKT looks a lovely tyre. It's a lovely square, mm -hmm. square shape to it, and it, it, it helps the look of them sitting there restored. What else happens here though, Fred? Because there's cars buzzing about, there's lorries buzzing about, there's there's tires, there's just things happening everywhere. Yeah, well we do uh, take in and fit tires. Uh, we have the aftermarket there that we supply as well. And we have the local community there that come in with their tractors to get punchers, repairs, you name it. Tires, and and wheels and cleaned up. And hopefully a new one. <laughs> and hopefully a new one. <laughs> and we have vulcanising it as well, so uh, we try to get people fixed up as well. as but like, you know, we head out around the yard and we're looking at five loading bays. And, uh, like, I'm not meaning to, to, to speak out of turn here, but, like, five loading bays is, is a lot. There's rigid trailer, or there's rigid trucks out there, there's Arctic trailers out there. I'm imagining there's lorries throughout Ireland as we speak. There must be a lot of stuff that moves through your hands on a daily, weekly basis as well. So we have a great uh, network around the country, agents in different districts and areas and counties. So uh, like it's through them, 99% of our sales will materialise. But it's not just agri tires you're working with here. Now I know agri tires covers the vast percentage of it. I think we all know that from looking around. But like I was blown away. I seen tires out there 
like these big smooth tires, like they were like industrial tires, and I suppose you must deal a bit with the construction side as well, or. Yeah, well, they're all off-road. The full range in BKT, they, they concentrate on off-road tyres. That goes from forklifts to dump trucks, mining equipment. Like, we're in an area here where we have a lot of mining around here, so underground mining, mining and quarries, you name it. So we supply that end of the market as well. And BKT, they don't really bother much, like... Than the lorry side of things or car side of things, they stick with No, the not on the uh, on road, no. Uh, army vehicles, all right, they have army range of tyres to do. Whereas, again, as I say, they're off road as well as road. You run a range of tyres then also for cars and people were coming in there, there's cars getting tyres yeah, from there yeah. all morning. Yeah, for years we were agents there for Nokian tyres and now we have the full range of car tyres and van and Jeep and it's multi-brands that we stock. So we have the fitting service. <laughs> so, you've, so you're fitting for tractors, you're fitting for industrial, you're fitting for cars, you can do it all. Yeah, quads, you name it, barrow, wheelbarrows, trailers, builders, trailers. How long have you been in business, Fred? Yeah, well, we're 40 years in business this year. 40 years? 40 years, there you go. So we'll be celebrating that later on. I oh, well, don't forget my invite. <laughs> <laughs> we would like a wee night out. <laughs> so you're 40 years in business this year. Wow, that is fantastic. How long have you... What did, how did you start 40 years ago, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, well, 40 years ago now we did... Uh, it's a totally different business. I was a contractor and a grain grower. Pigs were into the pigs at that early, in the 80s. Uh, or in the 70s, that was in the 70s now, that was ah. in the contracting and... So your, your secret's out. Your so secret's secret out. <laughs> you're secretly a farmer. A farmer. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're a farmer turned businessman. Is Business, that the correct yeah, way yeah, to word yeah. it? Well, we had tough times in the late, eight, eight, late 70s and uh, I just changed the whole business. I got advice to not continue with what we were doing. We were milling grain and growing grain and storing grain. So the buildings here came in very handy for that. In fact, I started off in the lower, smaller sheds when the business came in first because this main shed was rented out for warehousing. So we, like I had a good friend in Holland and I have been back and forth to the Netherlands for now and again over a couple of years and I began to see opportunities there in the second hand market and the army, especially the American army in Germany there was a lot of uh, tyres and wheels coming off the army trucks and rocket launchers, you name them. And you, you thought to yourself, I could bring some of this stuff? Yeah, we started to buy it and my friend over there, I used to go down to the army there in Stuttgart and give him a hand there to scrap the old vehicles and go off and sell the aluminium and I would bring the wheels home here to Ireland. But when I got them home, you see, they wouldn't fit anything. The rims themselves were all American uh, fittings. Uh, yeah, oh, well, that would be. That yeah. Would be, yeah. So that goes into the welding. And we always had the welding in the workshop there. So, Fred, on behalf of uh, Grassman and the whole team, look for uh, all your support over the uh, the last few years. You know, in particular, um, the Ford TW35. I mean, it's been one of the most famous tractors probably uh, within the UK and Ireland, if not further afield because of uh, the bold move we made to, to raffle it for charity and putting the tyres on there, well thank you very much. Um, and I suppose now, the, the 4755, I mean, and we just transformed the look of that tractor. With, with that tractor sitting fully GPS, we have a full auto steer system on it, and when we took it out to England and put it up the latest and greatest uh, John Deere had to offer, uh, to see the old girl holding her own, considering where she's come from with the, the modern tyre technology and the modern headland turn with Isla Boss, it was just phenomenal. And we have uh, videos created, so if anybody wants to go on and actually see the videos of the, the, the tractor working with the tyres and the restoration job, log on to YouTube or whatever, or, or keep on looking and you'll find them. And um, it, it, was, it was really, really cool to see that for us. So look, thank you very much. And... Congratulations on reaching 40 years in business. That's a, that's a milestone and a half. And 
as I say, all the all the best <laughs> for the next forty years. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, mate. Guys, I hope you like this video. Um, it's lovely to return uh, a year or so after we finished off our 47.55 and uh, catch up with Fred here, um, who's been a great support to uh, both the charity work that we do and helping us get some of the technical specifications right for what we were trying to do with 47. If you like this video, please remember, hit the subscribe button and um, like and comment. And if you have any questions about tyres, we'll try and get back to you or, or direct them to Agri Gear. Thank you.